Don't fuck with the Chuck. <laughs> He's back. Uh, welcome to the Sunday Movie Marathon. I'm Max. I'm Chris. I'm Darcy. It's episode 98. Nice. Today, that intro yeah. was about um, him being back. About who being back? Him. 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 Okay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know who. But I thought like it was be. apt because we're talking about child's play, and he's always back. Yeah, he never dies. He keeps coming back, as we found yeah. out when we said we watched three of those movies, and we ended up watching four. What a night that was. <laughs> <laughs> we got our. Uh, what we got here, Darcy? With their um little. Pumpkin chocolate bombs. The pumpkin chocolate bombs. And they're just chilling on I'm top of the milk. I'm going to put them in my milk. Boy, it's like a chocolate pumpkin guy so for Halloween. at some point, he oh, nice. is meant to melt <laughs> and marshmallows are meant to come out of him. Okay. Ah! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, he exploded. He exploded with marshmallows. Oh, my God. Yeah, so at some that point, was crazy. it kind of falls down and... <laughs> Marshmallows appear. It was like watching Nagasaki. <laughs> I'm waiting for Max's to like fall down and do the oh, same thing. He's bit. doing it. He's, he's doing going. it. You can't see he's this, going. but it's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like a man drowning in milk. I'm waiting for it to flip over. I always say podcasts are the best format for these visual things. It's pretty cool. Anyway, how have we been? No bad, yeah. no bad. Uh, been a week. Been really friggin' ill, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We've all been ill. Um, <laughs> been busy. Been ill yeah. and busy. Busy yeah. and ill, that's like the worst combo of things. Yeah, me and Darcy have been sorting out moving, so it's just been Yeah, you guys are very leaving busy forever. Place. Leaving forever. Moving out yeah. into the big wide world. Yeah, we'll have a new podcast a yeah, HQ soon. we may have a soon. new headquarters for the podcast soon. We Maybe. say soon because we'll see. We don't know how long we'll yeah, have to live without Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah, and the actual equipment to sit and yeah. do things. Still not going to go to yours to watch the movies because Chris's TV sucks. Um, oh, I thought you were going to say because there's no window in the oh, yeah, toilet. Oh, yeah, there's no windows in your new place. And also, you have no furniture. Well, we of will. Of course, do. we don't have furniture. We don't live there yet. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I still think mine's the better place to be with no furniture in your place at the moment. I don't know. Mm. You got I mean, upset I about a cavity yeah. wall because you thought there was a hole in the wall that they weren't telling you about. No, like uh, like a hole within the wall, right? That's what it means. Like it's an empty wall, like a hollow wall, right? Is yeah. that what that means? Yeah, yeah I, 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 that's what it meant. I think you got okay. I think I miss. No, you made it seem like there was just a random hole. No, I don't in the mean building. a hole in the wall. I meant a, I should have said a hollow wall was probably what I should have said. Because he was going mad about this yeah, hole. This hole, but I didn't mean an actual hole. hole. That's I didn't mean an actual hole. I meant a hollow wall. But only now have I actually thought yeah. that's the word that I, I wanted didn't mean to use. That though, did I? Well, it's like, well, oh yeah, I. How I am I supposed that to infer now? what you like, mean oh. versus what you actually uh, say to my face? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that when I said it explicitly. I said there was a hole. I didn't mean a hole. <laughs> you know, like, can't a, you like read a hole. Between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I haven't been to the cinema recently. Because um, I can't be bothered. I'm very tired there's, all the time. It's not I feel really like there's nothing there. Out. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's that movie out. Um, all right. Maybe there's nothing out. Wow. Th- th- that's when you know. There's that Viola Davis one people are going crazy for. Oh, they know. With the Woman King. People are going crazy for it. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Maybe it's just me then. I've just heard people say it's all right. Oh. Oh. Uh, people say it's a monumental achievement in cinema. You not yeah. heard that? No. Was that taken from the trailer or something? Why would it be taken from the trailer? It's. No. I haven't. I don't. I guess that depends on where you read it, right? Then. Yeah. It's on the post. No, it's people yeah. saying it. You know, you go, you see the one show and they're like, look, it's. This is a monumental achievement. It was on like ITV News. Look, it's a monumental achievement ah, in I cinema. See. He's talking and Viola about Davis was there. Normal people's TV. Me and me and Chris don't. Watch Sometimes that, I'll watch they? ITV News, and they'll be like, "This is the most monumental achievement in cinema since um, Get Out or something." I don't know. I can't remember the last time anyone spoke about a movie on the news, so it must no. be. It must, must be insane. Be it must be crazy. <laughs> we got some movies coming out um, the tail end of this month. 
got the new Halloween movie out this week, I think. Yeah, Halloween. It comes, it's on the 14th or something, isn't it? Apparently oh, Halloween it's end. really bad, so I can't that wait for that. Oh, what, like the other 20 movies that came before it? Yeah, there's some good ones there. I ain't seen them. <laughs> I don't really want <laughs> I to. I ain't seen a good one. Mm. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, ke- yeah. I'm not keen on watching them, if I'm totally honest. And I've seen one Halloween movie. <laughs> Is that the first one? Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, I love that movie. Why do you need to see 15 of them? We've also got um, The Banshees of Inisherin or whatever it's called. That's going to be the best movie week. of the year. Yeah, probably. Um, new Park Chan Wook movie also comes out next week. What? Decision to Leave. Yeah, it comes oh, out nice. on the 21st, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, both those movies do. Yeah, I saw a trailer no, I was for it. coming out on the 21st. Like, Black Adam. That's right, baby. <laughs> that one's going to be a milestone yeah. in cinematic achievement. Triple bill at the cinema, watching all three of those movies. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off already if you guys are. Which can't be done until at least a 23rd. That's alright, Black Adam's worth the wait. I'm fine to wait for Dwayne The Rock Johnson to do his thing on the cinematic screen. <laughs> <laughs> I kill people! Ah, that'll be insane. Can't wait. That'll be the best like good, of the year, probably. Yeah, like a good £25, just dipping in and out of different screens for different films. Yeah. I've heard the new um, Hellraiser remake's pretty good. I don't know yeah. when we're meant to be getting that. Never. Yeah, never. Yeah. It'll come out eventually. It's Who's meant to go to it? Disney Plus. Disney Plus, because they got Hulu or whatever. Yeah. So, Which means it's not coming out, probably. A <laughs> couple of years. Nah, we'll I, think, get that in... I think we'll get it in like the next month or two. I don't know. You said Disney Plus, I think that's where it goes to die. We'll see. That's what I'm thinking. I yeah. like the director, but uh, yeah, I didn't. We'll I mean, see I'd like to be wrong. Out. There's a lot of controversy because <laughs> Pinhead's played by a trans woman. Oh, God so? forbid. What? What? what so? Yeah, people are just like, oh, yeah, oh the would... LGBTQ community, they're queering up the ge- the oh, horror what did, movies. What did, you call, what did you call it yesterday? I, don't oh. know, I saw like that. I saw a thing, like a still. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, if you don't know, you don't know. Surely. Pinhead was written in the books by Clive Barker as a um, like gender ambiguous person who was very androgynous. Well, yeah. Had a feminine voice. Yeah, like, it's have you demon. seen that original it's like, movie? It's like... not supposed to be a, a man or a woman. Oh, it's what... it's your soul apart. <laughs> I wish I remember what you said it was yesterday. Oh, damn, God, what some person called it, and I was like, that is the best uh, phrasing of anything I've ever heard. I'm going to adopt it, and now I can't remember it. <laughs> to share. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I like David Bruckner. I like the ritual and um, the night house that he did. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I think he's one of the guys to look out for. In horror, mm. yeah. made some interesting stuff, interesting ideas he's got going on. I think people are liking Hellraiser. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Dumb I really like the the original. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. That's campy and fucking weird and insane and a bunch of bullshit going on that movie. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Anything else that comes out? Uh, what well, soon? Um, Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> um, don't want to talk about that. Chris and I saw a movie. Um, I saw it a few weeks ago, so I'm not super fresh on it. Chris saw it recently. It was, um, oh, what's it called? See it's How They Catch Run. Catch Me If You Can. See How They Run. Yeah, that one. The other one. Not Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can. It's the polar opposite of that movie. Um, who directed it? Chris, you, you saw it more recently. You can introduce it, because I... I'm. Yeah, you only saw it the other I, day. I only vaguely remember it. Yeah, sure. Bear me two secs. Let me just get up. Who did it? <laughs> Who um, done it? Yeah. Who done it? Uh-huh. It's, uh, uh-huh. That was clever. Yes. Directed by Tom George. Directorial debut. Mm-hmm. Um, the film set in 1950s on the West End. There's a meant to be a movie adaptation of um, Agatha Christie's The Mouse Trap, the play. The um, Moose Trap. Yeah, The Moose Trap. But it comes to a halt when the director, played by Adrian Brody, is murdered. So then a detective, played by Sam Rockwell, Inspector Stoppard, and his new rookie... Um, partner constable stalker played by Sersha Ronan basically have to go on this like huge who done it to work out who did it mm-hmm. one of those the new knives out 
people are going crazy for. Although I say that, I don't think many people saw it. No, well, not, not really. Not well, loads one. of people. I wanted to see it because I, yeah, I, I wanted to see it because of um, Saoirse Ronan and Sam Rockwell, and I think yeah, same. They're like the main characters, and um, they do really good work here. And I think um, they're very funny, but they work very well. Their dynamic is, um, I don't think I've seen them work together, or at least not that closely before in any um, movie. But they really pull it out of the bag. Um, it is a very funny movie. It's also quite just very well made. I thought it was like, yeah. for a directorial debut um, feature, I suppose. Um, it's just like so competently made and like really sleek and just a lot of fun. As much as it is like a whodunit movie and we've seen it before sort of mm -hmm. thing. That's kind of what brings it down for me. It's like, yeah, okay. And it's like, who done it? This guy we saw earlier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I do think it's very formulaic for what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of that is just by design because it does kind of seem to be intentionally copying loads of the tropes in a way to almost make fun of a lot of it. Mm -hmm. It does seem quite self-aware of what it's doing. Yeah. I guess that's how it weaves comedy in. Yeah, I was going to say, mm -hmm. is that a is that a good thing technically? Because there's nothing worse than a serious movie that yeah. plays on nothing but tropes. If it was completely serious, then it would be like, oh, whatever. But it's very yeah. um, lighthearted and fun. Um, it's very bouncy. It's kind of like like if Wes Anderson made a uh, Who Done It type of movie. Um, kind of, yeah. So, it, not in terms of like how it's presented, but definitely in terms of like the tone. I think. Yeah, I think visually there's a lot of like quite similar stuff to him it's mm -hmm. like very visually creative i think that was probably my favorite thing about it is like the cinematography and how everything's framed and like the coloring and just visually how it looks i think it looks fantastic it looks really good yeah, yeah it has it's like a really distinct style i think i'd like to get it on 4k um when that comes out um it was a very comforting movie as well just like very yeah. short very in and out like an hour and a half or something um and you just watch these characters do what they're doing, you know, Adrian Brody, he's there and he dies and he's as, as for as little as he's in the movie, um, he's alluded to in flashbacks, but he makes a very, uh, standout performance, I think. And, you know, you remember him, you remember all these other little characters that come along. Like Ro Ruth Wilson is in there and, um, uh, a bunch of other guys, um, who I think do a very good job. I was interested to see, um, uh, who like what they would do with the movie, I suppose, in terms of like how it unfolded its plot. And I guess in that way, it was kind of, it was kind of by the books, but I would still enjoy like the ride to it. And I like how they did allude to like, it was kind of poking fun at itself in terms of like this guy who died, he's yeah. like a playwright. And when he wants to, he, what he wants to do is like get this um, play off the ground or this movie, I think, um, and like what he was saying and this is how it should happen and this is how it should happen and that's kind of how it develops and that's how it actually happens within the movie you're watching that was sort of like um that nick cage movie that came out pretty recently oh what the talent like, they're like thing. saying like yeah. and this this is this should happen in our movie and then it actually happens in the movie that you're watching and it's, it calls back to itself and it's, it fulfills its own loop and that's very entertaining i think yeah definitely um i really liked sam rockwell in the movie he like has a british accent and mm -hmm. as soon as he started talking, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then, like, at first I was like, I'm not too sure about this. But as I got used to it, I think he actually did a really good job. Like, yeah, I think so. You get a lot of American actors who do a British accent in something and it just sounds like absolute shit. But luckily it <laughs> wasn't that bad. No, he's a good actor. I always enjoy seeing him in movies. Um, especially where he plays like the main characters. Like Moon is really good for that. And, like, playing like multiple people in that movie. Um, but he's quite underrated, I think. Mm, yeah, he's one of, like, of my favorites. Where he ranked in Hollywood, I don't know. Like, what was was the last one that he was in? I'm thinking of Jojo Rabbit, but like, hey, Sam must Rockwell. Have been something, something else. Pretty recently, I don't know. I don't know. Like, when, whenever he's on the bill, I'm like, oh, that's the one I've got to see. Yeah, I think yeah. probably last big one would be Free Billboards. Surely. That's what I thought, but I, I thought that came so, out yeah. ages ago. <laughs> yeah, say so Free Guy. <laughs> Yeah, that was ages So ago. free guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't have like loads to say on it, I'll be honest. I'm sorry about that, but I, uh, I, I didn't... I saw it like a while ago. I just thought it was very tight. And for what it was, I think more people probably should have seen it. Because I didn't see a lot of people hyping it up or anything. I only got a few screenings where we are. Um, I think number six, where, where we're at, Little Indie Cinema, has shown it like twice in a few weeks. 
Yeah. So, that's pretty good. I like that they're kind of platforming it a bit. Yeah, that was where I saw it, and it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Everyone seemed to be loving it. They were laughing at everything. Um, I feel like yeah. it's like a very good like family sort of movie. Although it's like a 12, there's not really anything like that crass or violent or anything. I feel like you could definitely mm-hmm. show this to like a, a younger person. I feel like it's just like so light and easy to watch and it's not really that dark it's just a lot of fun so i feel yeah. like it's definitely the kind of movie that you could like watch on like christmas day or <clears> after <throat> your dinner mm-hmm. yeah i mean like up is more dark than this movie you know? yeah <laughs> they show like pixar movies to kids and those are some pretty dark stuff that's happening in those movies yeah that's um, true actually <laughs> kids can handle it i think um it's not really a kid's yeah. movie though i did see it on my own um as did you chris but I think, like, it's good to watch on your own, and it's also good to watch in a group. I think it's, like, one of those you can enjoy, enjoy in any type of way, you know. And I don't think it, like, demands a huge screen to watch it, although it did help. And I would just watch any movie on a huge screen if I could. But, you know, I'll get the 4K probably, and, like, it'll be fine on just television, you know, my, t- my TV at home. It doesn't really demand that. Um, but it definitely makes me uh, want more from this guy. Tom George. It's yeah, quite a yeah. forgettable name, I suppose, but um, it's just really well done throughout. Yeah, he's one of like a big string of directors we got at the moment who were like started off doing like British like comedy sitcoms and stuff, like for yeah. like BBC and Channel 4 and stuff before yeah. eventually going to movies. They're the up and comers, man. Keep them coming. Be on the lookout for them. Yeah. These white guys. <laughs> <laughs> Need more platforms for them. Should you <laughs> give this one a rating? Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I uh, thought it was just a fun, simple sort of movie. Um, there was quite a lot of, like, well, I say quite a lot. There's just a few, like, slapstick moments in the movie, and I thought they were really funny, and I almost kind of wished it went a bit harder, like, with that, like, almost like a Pink Panther sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but for what it was doing, what it was going for, I think it succeeded pretty well um nothing amazing not sure if i would ever watch it again but had a good time i give it like six out of ten yeah i liked it quite a bit um and i'll watch it again it's one of those to watch on like a rainy day i think um yeah i'll probably give it like a seven out of ten for now um might go up might go down i don't know i just had a lot of fun with it uh in the moment thanks tom <laughs> yeah cool now we get on to the the stuff that we watched all of us within one day. Woo! Child's play. We got more horror movies coming at you this Halloween month. Woohoo! And they're all scary. This one's actually a horror one that we did. Um, unlike the last week's, which was sort of just themed around spooky stuff. This one was actually horror movies. Child's play trilogy. Plus yeah. Plus the other one. Um... We got Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and if that wasn't enough, we want, we decided to watch Child's, uh, the other one, Bride of Bride Chucky, of Chucky yeah, right kind at of the end. Yeah, like a really impromptu thing, so I was like saying, oh, I'm definitely going to watch this at some point before the episode, yeah. and then we we're just like, eh, fuck it, still early, let's watch it. The BOC. Mm. So, what is it, what it's about, what's it doing you tell us, Chris. Yeah, first let's one. start with the first one. Um, directed by Spider-Man himself, Tom Holland, um, from 1988. He was um, out there in 88, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just called Child's Play. This one is about a single mother um, called Karen, who um, of course she is. disappoints mm. her son on mm. his birthday by only giving him like this tool chest or something. He really wanted a good guy doll. It's like this doll that... It's being advertised everywhere. There's like this cartoon show he, this kid's obsessed with. He really wants this doll. Um, while she's working on his birthday, she finds out that there's a peddler outside selling a doll. Um, but what she doesn't know is that the doll is actually possessed by the soul of a serial killer called Charles Lee Ray, <laughs> who then starts going around killing people. Yeah. It's exactly how it sounds, isn't it? <laughs> it's one of the classic ones. One of the classic movies everybody knows about if you don't if you haven't seen it <laughs> you know about the movie with the doll who kills people 
Uh, I've not seen any of these movies before, so I was excited to check them out. I don't regret watching them, but I also don't care about them all that much. And they are about exactly what I thought they were going to be. I thought maybe um, it kind of reminded me of the Goosebumps episode I watched when I was a kid, where the doll comes to life, and I was like, oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, maybe that put me off watching these movies, but then it is just like a slasher movie. It's like, yeah. you know, the Friday the 13th and the Screams and Nightmare on Elm Streets and all that bullshit. Um, except most it's of them, a doll. Except it's a doll this time. Um, it could have been scary, but it wasn't. Mm. As soon as the guy starts talking, Charles... Charles Lee Ray. Charles Lee Ray. Charles Chucky Lee Ray. (laughs) Charles Lee Chucky Ray. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm out of it now. It's not even kind of scary anyway. Even when it had like maybe a slight grip on me, you know, talking doll and like a doll that kills people. That's fucked up. We've all seen The Conjuring. We know how this shit Mm. goes down. uh, I mean, first of all, he gets struck by lightning and his consciousness, his soul goes into a doll. That's stupid enough as it is. <laughs> whatever. No, yeah, he doesn't get struck of... by lightning. He says the the voodoo chant. What? You know the one where he's always like, Zumbaya. 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 That's his only metro. In. What he says. <laughs> I did the way Dembala. That's what he says. Dembala I don't know that put me song, in. Put me in the doll. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then he goes into a doll. Yeah. And if it was just like creepy vibes, and he like turned his head and was like, Ah, what's that? But he was like. You, you're awful. You're a bitch. I hate you. And I'm going to do bad things and kill people. Ha <laughs> ha. As soon as he starts talking within the doll, you're like, oh, okay. It's just a guy. Yeah. Don't like this anymore. I feel like it has the classic like horror movie problem where as soon as like the killer is fully revealed, all the horror kind of leaves it. I thought it was always like, kind of goofy, I feel like though. That's a trope of a lot of horror movies where they're like creepy when you don't really know what's going on, but as soon as it's like revealed, it's like no I, longer I, creepy. I find it hard to yeah. believe that anyone could think that Chucky's a uh, scary. Uh, well, actually, it's not even called Chucky. Sorry, Charles plays a scary movie when you think about. Yeah, no, it's not. No, he's just he's a tiny friggin' doll. Like, why doesn't someone just like? Kick the shit out of him. <laughs> he has super dull strength. I mean, yeah. I get it because he bit, he's. Uh, Karen on the arm. Yeah, How'd he, he do that? He he's did just it like doll. three times. How'd he but... penetrate the skin? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's just... He has the super lightning voodoo doll yeah. strength. I just I just find it really hard to believe that anyone matter. actually finds it. It's not. It's, scary. I don't know if. It's, I, don't, I mean, no, I don't know if people actually do, scary. but I would Who find knows? it hard to believe that people would. Yeah, I mean, I think I used to find it scary when I was like fifteen. Yeah, but that's different when you're <laughs> when you're younger. Oh, I don't know. You know, fifteen's kind of old. I don't know. Kermit freaks me out, like Kermit the Frog, and yeah, he's a puppet. You have. But dolls freak me out a little bit. But yeah, it's not scary, is it? It's just kind of goofy. Yeah, I remember finding the third act where he's like being like shot and blown up and stuff and still like going after him i remember finding that really terrifying when i was younger he's unstoppable that yeah. chuckster I but now i watch it it's just like yeah whatever it's pretty goofy it's very silly that's I the thing yeah. it, 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 i think it serves its purpose if we're talking about uh horror movies that are goofy it, I guess. it was fine yeah do you know what i mean like it's it, fine yeah it's fine i don't really feel all that too all any sort of extreme way about it. Yeah, it is just really. fine. Um, it's just like another one to add to the pile. I don't know. Mm. But it has garnered like a lot of affection. I, pe- I think people really like them. Or is it maybe that there's just like 20 of these movies now and like if you don't know about them, like what are you doing? I don't know. No, I, I feel really like, yeah, like that people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, people I like quite... Mm-hmm. What's it like? Cult movies? They're not even cult, are they? Like proper pop like stream pop, yeah. you know popular yeah, culture but you know the what I mean? they were huge these movies when yeah, they were coming out that's the thing with all yeah, of those brand kind of new. movies so, like, yeah. wow, the guy goes into a doll and kills people that's, that's the crazy thing about it. this is the thing in 88 like, exactly like all this shit that is like popular culture movies of course they are they were the first yeah. of anything that ever friggin' this happened. This came out at the point where I feel like <laughs> slasher movies were kind of starting to die off so yeah. like it kind of re- um, put a bit of life into it, kind of like what Nightmare on Elm Street did, because that came out of a similar sort of point where slasher movies were kind of on the out, and it like reinvigorated it a bit, and I feel like it kind of, Charles Blake kind of did it a bit, where it kind of changed up the formula, in that it's 
a killer and a doll well, rather yeah, yeah. than just a I killer. I assume it was the first time I feel like that, that happened. Slasher movies are just in this perpetual state of being on the out, and somebody brings out another one, and, yeah. and then everyone's like, that one's actually kind of good, and revive yeah. the genre a bit. How about that? So it just it's in this quasi state of never actually dying, like the Western did. Oh yeah, or like, I don't know, they take it too far. Like, oh, do you remember that film franchise you liked? Here's a 29th mm. installment of that no thing. It's no longer on the brink anymore, this genre. It just is. Like, oh, you thought it's not dead because we've got Halloween, the new Halloween ones, um, the new Scream ones, <laughs> yeah, and just all these other bullshit ones that are coming out. I feel like these but, are like, like re- they're rebooting it now, though, yeah, aren't they? It's they're... just like more... I don't think an original slasher movie nowadays would do that well. I don't it's think it could really exist. I feel they're that... all kind of done, aren't they? Yeah. Well, what so... about Happy Death Day? Huh? That took the yeah, slasher movie guess. in a different direction. Yeah, well, but it luckily, was just Groundhog Day. But... They, but like, they saved us with only two of those. Yeah, that's yeah. they're like the only slasher movies so I can think of, like from oh. like the, since Scream that have been like yeah. really big. Scream was the one they should have ended it on, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably should've get behind that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't really. West Craven know. did it as good as you could ever possibly do it, and that's done. The end. I keep making more. Um, <laughs> I keep making more. But as as Charles play goes, I thought. There's still, there's still a lot to admire in it, and it's not just like shock, schlock or whatever. It's like, actually, they do care about making it. You can tell they care about making it. All the animatronics on the doll look amazing, and it's like, it could have been CG, and it could have looked like shit. They actually tried. Yeah, but the design's actually made yeah, the doll cool, look w- weird and ginger. Yeah, yeah I like it's like a cool. really distinct look. Well, yeah, that's, that's, like, that's really an... iconic design. Yeah, that's like another thing of that time, though, isn't it? Like, you got... You know, like, I don't know, you got Chucky, he's that mm-hmm. weird looking doll. You've got Jigsaw, the weird looking puppet thing. The clown You've doll. got the Jason Mars and the yeah. Michael M- what, Myers what if shit. You going had a on? friend and he was ginger and then he turned evil. <laughs> <laughs> no! Nah! We've, like, all tried, we've all had that go through our minds. I said that No Souls thing, that's where this comes from. Yeah, Chucky is one of the <laughs> iconic horror. Um, villains, and I think a lot of that comes down to his design. Yeah, because he's I think cute, Brad kind of. Dorf, <laughs> no, I really love his performance. I know you were quite critical of how he sounded in the movies. He did sound well, like how I thought he would. It's not so much that I don't like his performance, it's more so that I don't like any voice coming out of a doll that's like that. Oh, like what, you a think New York like or kid, something. Or... Or, I th- or like, yeah, sound like a child, or I have some sort of like animatronic voice or something or just don't speak Who i knows? think it would have been creepy if it didn't yeah. speak strangely so, something strange, like that because as soon as it's like yeah. he comes out with his new york accent or whatever it's like okay it was actually kind like, of funny i don't, I don't know <laughs> what does he what... fucking say uh it was something about like the mum it was like, you bitch, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> like, she's fine. <laughs> she's not. She's, she's, doing. Just, she's just, just like her mum. Like, what does it matter? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he chucks like the babysitter out the window and it looks like Evanescence's music video for Bring Me to Life. That was hilarious. That was very funny. Um, oh, yeah. And did, did we replay it? Or was it? Oh, no. So no. Chris went out for a second. And Max had accidentally like lent on the controller, so we had to play it backwards because it kept going forwards. Is that what happened? Don't you remember? Yeah. It, no. it was it was no, speeding was up in drunk. front. So, yeah, no, it was speeding up in front, you so you had to push drunk. it back. Oh, I had to add a bit to drink, yeah. Yeah, that you is did. fair. I had gone out beforehand. It was it was cracking jokes every two seconds, like, God, what is this movie? Yeah, <laughs> just screaming at things like the title card. Oh my god, that was that was great. Just screaming at it. Just... Well you gotta throw me under the bus like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so rude of you. Does have an awful title card Funny to be there. fair, where like what was all it of it is like uppercase. No, all of it's like is it uppercase? Oh yeah, there was the so, no, so some of it was yeah, some of it was uppercase and then some of it was lowercase. But I think it was the font that they used. It looked like yeah. shit. I assume it's meant to like kind of look like a kid's done it, but yeah, it would have it... been easier just to hand draw it. Yeah, really, it would have been. It? There would have been so much more fitting if it was actually like drawn rather yeah, like, than just well, a font. It looked like a crayon font or something. This, this, this didn't. It didn't fit the aesthetic. I feel. 
I don't remember a single thing about what you guys are talking about right it's now. It's for the best. <laughs> Maybe it was because I was drunk a little bit. I wasn't even that drunk. But, I don't know. I feel that with a lot of these movies, or just all of these movies, I don't really, like, whatever, I don't really remember them. It, I have to explain the plot of the second movie in a bit, but I have no idea what happened in that movie. Like, at all. <laughs> Not even slightly. He came back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> That's what he did. Yeah. He came back. He did. In the second one, he came back. Andy, I'm back. It's mm. Charles Play 2, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know there was going to be a sequel? <laughs> I really yeah, like I in this movie where they um, use like child actors to dress up as Chucky for something yeah. like the more complex oh, movie. Oh, did you say it looks, it it looks look really janky? It does. It <laughs> looks awful. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was pretty seamless. <laughs> really? I didn't notice it. <laughs> Where he gets thrown in like the fire pit, and then you. Sl- I know he comes. No, he's down. walking, isn't he it? He comes down from the ch- through the chimney, and he's clearly just a little kid, and he like kicks the grating on the fireplace and just starts walking through. No, that was the- a very animatronic performance. <laughs> I thought. I guess I, I don't know. I guess that's something that. I mean, how how do you really get around that? Like, maybe I'd feel different d- if I watched yeah. it completely sober, but like honestly, I couldn't tell. I feel <laughs> I, I don't know. like an idiot for saying it, but I couldn't tell. Like, I feel like all. Max would be in hell. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just a child. Like, no, I no, thought it was like a guy. I thought he was like, like oh. the real Chucky. I don't know. Yeah, they the do. Real Chucky, as opposed <laughs> to the fake Chucky. I think they do it again in Bride of Chucky, but it's like it feels much more seamless than that because it's very. Like, it's only for a tiny, tiny, like, shot where you see Chucky, like, running in the background or something. <laughs> it's yeah. not like in this where you, like, see Chucky, like, go through a window and sit down on the windowsill. To be fair, there was, like, a bit where he was walking from behind and it was a kid and it was, like, pretty close up. So you can normally tell... You know what I mean? Like it's, it's Imagine not... being that kid, though. <laughs> oh, we're going to dress you up as a killer doll. Like, yeah! <laughs> they probably loved it. Probably having the time probably, of their life. Yeah. yeah, I wonder how that kid You've got to go up this though. chimney, kid, and then you've got to drop down and kick the, the fire grey town. I don't want to go up the chimney. <laughs> Speaking of kid actors, um, I feel like Alex Vincent as um, the main kid is not very good. No, he sucks. Andy. Is he all right? No, I mean, like... Do you think he was ever traumatised making this movie? Because no. he, he's no, only in I the first like... two, isn't he? No. That's only because he's old think by then. Holland but... abused people. Like, he, he, no, um, I just mean did. like... He was recast you know, in the third weird. one, but he did come back recently for the two most recent <laughs> sequels. Oh, okay. No, it was just more like... Because you know when you're a kid and you don't quite understand stuff that's going on, Like, do you think it would freak him out? Like, well, I know that he's just... I know Probably just puppet, didn't but... know what was happening. No, maybe. Yeah. Clearly didn't have to act either, doll. but... <laughs> But what was he, like, seven or something? Yeah. So, well, whatever. Kids have seen horror movies at the age of seven. Chris saw The Exorcist at the age of seven. Did it's I? Like nothing to <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. Did you? No. Well, it's like nothing to these kids nowadays. Well, I guess nowadays. But I was going to say, yeah, this was the 80s, The 80s, though. they didn't yeah. have, like, the TikTok or sort TikToks or the watch people die subreddit in those days. Yeah. Like, the kids have access to now. So, but, so yeah. mate, he didn't even seem like he was there, did he? Really, he was just o- got on screen saying words, and then that was it. I didn't feel like he was there, you know. No, he did suck a bit. His yeah. voice was a bit too high. I felt like he was putting on a stupid kid voice for some reason. Like, mommy, mommy, my doll is <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can completely criticise him because you know he's, he's, like he's a kid, and, but yeah. like I can. He still wasn't will. very good. To be he fair, that, was bad. Uh, there are good child actors. Yeah, and... there's definitely better ones. Yeah, and even in the second one, I feel like he was better. Yeah, but in that, yeah. that's like, but sometimes that's a natural order of things to get better at it as you go along. Yeah. Well, it wasn't him in the second one. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. You just said he wasn't. No, 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 he's one. in the first oh, two, right. and then, yeah. Maybe he, just, he felt, oh, God, I've really got to set my game up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How dynamic can you be when you've got a killer doll? You know what I mean? Like, did, did they go, you have to be less dynamic because the killer doll's meant to be, like, the guy. He's the guy. 
<laughs> the one that you actually want to watch. Listen to me, kid. You're not the guy. <laughs> All right, the limelight is on Chucky. He's the main star. He's a doll. He's a star. <laughs> I mean, he is on the posters, so he is yeah. pretty much a star. Yeah, I mean, he's a basically like you get a Blu-ray box set of these movies. They're not called the Child's Play movies; they're the Chucky movies. Yeah, I I never huh. thought it was called Child's Play. I always thought it was the Chucky movies. Like some sort of weird, like fucking yeah. Mandela effect or something. That's why, like, we it came up on the wheel and we were talking about it afterwards on the way back. She was like, "Are these kind of like the Chucky movies?" And I was like, "They are the Chucky <laughs> movies. I don't like those ones." <laughs> no, yeah. it was more like I thought, "Oh, they like the precursor to the Chucky movies," and I thought they're not. Co- Just got rudely interrupted by a laptop there. Just try not to get distracted by noises, Darcy. And you'll be all right. That's a hard. Ta- that's a hard task to put on me. The movie, like I feel like, it clearly had quite a lowish budget, but I think they mm-hmm. do a lot of good stuff with it. I think the animatronics of Chucky, for the most part, are really good. Um, yeah, obviously, like yeah. I said, the design is really great. I think they Iconic, do a lot right? with what they were handed. Um, there's a lot of points where it does look really janky and quite bad, but there's something about it I think adds this charm to the movie that I really enjoy. Yeah, it's goofy. Yeah. It, it it has goofy, it goofy. charm. It is charming, though, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Goofy yeah. charm. There's something about, like, bad practical effects that I always found so much, like, more charming and fun than bad CGI. But isn't mm-hmm. it, is it more the case that it was done with love more than, oh, I've just paid someone in a basement two million to make this movie look cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a bit of soul in it, I guess, if it's yeah. done. If it looks like shit, but it was done... <laughs> that, and I don't know, they could do love. that back in those days. Yeah, no, of course. I feel like there was definitely a mon- monetary limitations, but there was also a lot of technical limitations, which I think they had to kind of overcome with the sequels. Mm, yeah. 80s. So there's, like, two fake-outs as well. It's like, dies, and he comes back, and then he dies, and then he comes back again. <laughs> you know, oh, wait, what the fuck? And you think he's dead for realsies, but mm. it's like, yeah, but also they're like eight movies, so. They're following that, mm. like, sc- no, Scream followed that kind of logic. Was it Scream? No. The one where you have to shoot them or they come back again? Yeah, that, that is Well, Scream. I guess, but that well, was I mean, more poking yeah. fun at what this is doing. Yeah, it's yeah. just a slasher movie trope. Yeah, yeah but I, li- I, li- I like that, though, but not in this film because it's... Yeah, it's, uh, but then again, I guess back in the day, because it was brand new, that was something that everyone goes, oh my God, it happened twice, but now we're watching it now. It's alive twice oh, again. Cool, the fake out. Nice. Old. Done to death. I don't know. I think it's a product of its time, so I'm not going to judge it too harshly on the fact that it's not... It's... Yeah. Uh, I can't think of the word. It's tropey. Why does he want to kill Andy? So he can take his he body. He doesn't want to kill him. He wants to take his body. I suppose so. He there's wants like a to rule, voodoo him. There's like a vi- re- voodoo rule where you can transfer your soul into the body of someone, but it has to be the person who, the first person you reveal your true self <clears> to. Because if he doesn't do it in time, he's stuck in the doll body. Yeah, because yeah. his yeah. human parts though, become. It? Yeah, the yeah. longer he's in the doll's body, the more the doll's body becomes human. Yeah. yeah but then you're in Andy's body, and he's a nerd. Yeah. True. Then you've got to grow <laughs> up all over again. Would he still have his own voice? <laughs> or would he have Andy's voice? No, you would no, assume he'd, it was Andy's voice. He'd have yeah. his own voice, Just the way it's, Why? No, he would have Andy's voice. The way his like, chords are structured. I don't know. The only way I said the the only reason I said well, that is anatomy because is anatomy at the end in of the some day. of the other movies, when they go into like other things, they keep their own voice. Well, so it's I a just, doll. Oh, oh yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, I, they, I don't you mean know. Like in the no, Scooby Doo movie I where they know. bounce into each other's faces <laughs> and they are, oh, I've got, I'm Fred, but I've got Daphne's <laughs> voice. There is a sequel where um, <clears throat> a doll character does go into a human's body and they. Keep the human's body, um, human's voice. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, fine. Fair enough. I like the I like scene that, where... like, this stuff that we're talking about as if, yeah. like, this, <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> this didn't is even the happen. law. That... Yeah, <laughs> I like the scene where he goes to the guy, like, taught him all the voodoo, and he's like got this, like, voodoo doll of the guy, and he's like breaking his limbs and stuff. And he's like, <laughs> I've got a date with a six year old boy. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, that was great. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, though, I must say. Yeah. Made me laugh, anyway. Those kinds of things always make, always do make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Should we on to ratings? Yeah, sure. This is a freaky game. Well, we're writing it out of voodoo. Voodoo? What's the plural for voodoo? Voodoo. So the, you voodoo. can't you I, have I, two I, voodoos, can you? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's like just sheep. Voodoo. It has to just be sheep. Voodoo, voodoo dolls. Yeah. Voodoo. It's not overcomplicated here. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't the fucking Turner Price election. Come on. Voodoos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really like this movie. Um, it's one that I've always had a huge soft spot for. Um, this and like just the whole franchise in general, I've always had a lot of love for. Very nostalgic for me. Um, it's like one of the first horror franchises I ever got into when I was a teenager. Um, and yeah, this one definitely, I think it's very much a product of its time, but there's a lot of charm, even if it is very, very dated still. But yeah, I like it a lot still. I give it um, seven voodoo out of ten. Um, five voodoo out of ten. I didn't care for it much, but I understand where it ranks in terms of s- cinema and the slasher genre. I appreciate it, but I would never watch it again. That's fair enough. I don't think I would rush to watch it again. It's fine. I'm glad I watched it, but whatever. Six voodoo out of ten. You need to add two Woo-hoo. then. <laughs> We're doing this. How many? How many shows? Yeah, two. <laughs> Child's Play two. Woo! He's back. Woo! 1990, Woo! directed by John Lafayette. Woo! Shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to explain the movie. <coughs> Honestly. <coughs> this time, Chucky is back. He's here again. Andy is also back. But his mum has gone insane, so he has to live with a foster family uh, who take him in. All right. <laughs> Andy, your mum's gone insane. You have to live with us. Mm. And then Chucky is out there plotting his revenge. Yeah, that's the movie. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's the tagline yeah. is "Look out, Jack! Chucky's back. He's back." Who's Jack? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he was in um the fifth Chucky movie. <laughs> <laughs> what um, are our thoughts on this one? Because I'll be honest, I can't remember a single um, thing about it apart from that Chris told me uh, they had a crush on the girl who was in it. Um, hilariously, um, I felt exactly the same way. In fact, as Max was you saying, you also had a crush on the girl happened. who was in it. Well, what, the blonde girl? Yeah. Kyle. Kyle. No, not a bit of me, no. <laughs> oh, all right then. No, anyway, but sorry, uh, I, uh, I mean, get, getting, away, getting away from that for a second. I too had forgotten everything that happened. As Max was explaining things that happened in the movie, I was like, oh yeah, that happened in the second one. Where he's like, gone to this mansion with this couple who don't even want him there. And I was like, yeah, okay, I remember that. Yeah. At this place, there's like another good guy doll. Um and Chucky comes in and kills this good guy doll and like takes its place. What do you mean kills? Yeah, like punches it and buries it in the garden. It doesn't it's mean it's dead. It's, dead. Yeah. Like, it's just it's not. A doll. It's not alive to begin with, is it? Well, it, yeah. Well, Once like, it goes you... in the ground, it is dead. That was pretty cringe. Like, why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> 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 why, why did you do that? <laughs> it's a doll. He's burying a doll, and he's like cackling with laughter. And like, <laughs> why, why do you care? Why are you? Why are you going through this extra effort to bury what is just a piece of plastic? Why is it? Why is this malicious? Yes, yeah, is it? Yeah, is that meant to be like some sort of, I don't know, emphasis on something? Like, oh, look at me, I'm burying this thing, and it's a really funny. It's really dramatic. Who cares? I um. think this is the movie where the series does get a lot more goofy, a little bit more self-aware. I think they kind of try and play up the comedy a little bit more with the um, Chucky character. He has more zingers in this one. Zingers? Can you yeah. give Last me last microchip? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, we don't even know. No, he said it to... Oh, yeah, he said it to something, and I made a vaccine joke, and that was the only thing I remember. <laughs> no, you blacked out. Was that even in this one? Was that yeah, the third one? was that in this one? Okay. It was in this one. Microchip. I'm, I'm literally... So getting lost, microchip, or something. This is what's happened. And then Darcy to... blacked out, and then woke up so. three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck happened in this one? I like at the end, where he gets his hand chopped off in the conveyor belt, um, and then he like, has to get like a blade... And stick a blade in his arm. So he's oh, like, yeah. He's like that Halo sword that you can get in Halo, the purple one. You go, yeah. You fucking chop, chop stuff with the purple blade. Yeah, like that, bit was, himself. that bit was that sick. Was awesome. <laughs> I think you should have kept the whole, like, all, blade all, all I remember from this movie is just that end scene, really, where they're in that 
like factory because it looks stupid and weird. Oh, what? Yeah. Like, oh, and um, and he looks gets like covered in the plastic liquid plastic and it's all hot and he turns oh, into yeah. a mush yeah. and he dies again and then comes back again yeah he does that about five times in this one i swear yeah. it's like it's just like 20 it minutes of fake times, yeah well because the guy's already dead mm. just needs a conduit and in that sense they can make charles play movies forever and always and forever that's kind of the logic they've gone with though isn't it really they were like oh we can just bring him back again here we go again but yeah and they're still going. Still going. Is it still going? You said they had yeah. like two more. Was there two recent ones? Or when were the recent? I swear there was just they one. They've got a TV show one. now. Or no, something, there was one it? in 2013, one in 2017. Oh. Oh, and then me. there's been a TV show started last year, which also follows on from the franchise. I didn't realise it was a TV show. No way that Child's Play movie that came out was in 2017. Well, there was the what, remake. The, the remake came out yeah, in remake I thought was it was 2019. 2019, yeah. Oh. Okay. But yeah, there was two more sequels, 2013, 2017. Is that the, the cult one? Yeah, that... you got Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky. by Sidney Lumet. <laughs> What's this? Pardon? You only lose once. Child's Play, called. The other one. The, the first one. That poster looks interesting. <laughs> <laughs> looks like someone made it on Word. school, a new gym teacher mm. is drawn into a feud between two older instructors... And he discovers that everything at the school is not quite as stead, tranquil, and harmless as it seems. That doesn't sound like Chucky to me. I was going to say, no. is that meant to be a horror movie? Or is that just it it something like else? A, yeah, it sounds like a straight up uh, like thriller or something. It's like Tom Holland ripped off Sidney Lumet. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Sidney. I knew he was a hack. <laughs> I, just, I don't really have anything to to say Oh, about I'm completely it. done like, with talking about this movie. I, just, I have absolutely no recollection of it, and it's not because I was drunk. It's because that it's unmemorable, no. and I don't, I don't, I have no recollection of it. It's like the more I we're talking it really about well. it, I remember the, like, the end, but I don't remember anything really before yeah. it. I remember it vividly, but that's probably because I've seen it, like, a couple dozen times. Yeah, well, of course you have, you freak. Um, I know it pretty much inside out. I love this movie. This do this you? one in particular. The first two. Why do you love it? I think it's just nostalgia, to be honest. Yeah. But I still have a lot of fun with it. I don't think it's a bad movie. I do enjoy it a lot. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh yeah, I wouldn't say it was a, a lot terrible fun. movie. I just, um, just I like didn't the stick. beginning where they've like got the Chucky doll and they're like p- putting eyes into it, and suddenly like electricity starts flying up this machine. This guy goes flying through a window. I thought that was quite funny. Oh yeah. That was quite funny. He just like walks out. They like chuck him on the floor and he's like, all right, yeah. I'll guess I'll go. <laughs> he just walks out of there. <laughs> um, I like that the dad's always trying to get rid of Andy. He's like, oh, I knew like, we fostered the kid, but I didn't know he was going to be a weirdo. So he's just like, he's trying to get rid of him. Even though that's literally all he ever said in that like interview at the, at the home was, oh, I'm not sure we should have him. Like, are we yeah. equipped for this? And then he goes back and he's like, I told you, we weren't equipped for this. This boy's insane. <laughs> Why'd you even do it in the first place? He's just then? living his life. Because he's whipped. Yeah. Does he die in the movie? What is that? They, uh, both parents die. Yeah, he gets like Chucky, like... He gets Chuckied. I don't remember yeah. what happens to he's him, but I remember what happens to the mum. He's window. going down the steps into the basement and Chucky grabs him by the ankles and he oh, falls yeah. down and breaks his neck. And then the mum gets um... like sat on a chair she and gets, like, gets her throat on. slit or whatever. She gets like sewed to death or something. Yeah, pretty so close. Sat, sat next to a sewing <laughs> machine and like, I think her throat's been slit and she's like, her mouth's been sewed shut or something. It's pretty gross. Huh. I don't remember that. I like the, to watch it again. I like the um, school teacher's death where Chucky just beats her to death with a ruler. Oh yeah, and I said, yeah. how do you beat someone to death with a ruler? And we were like, this is Chucky logic, we're not going to get really into this. She's got to do it really hard. She's got to keep going. Yeah. He's there for like an hour, like hours and hours, yeah. just beating her over and over like, again. It was like the smallest ruler as well. There's no one else in the school, so no one can hear it. And she's like, yeah, she's like screaming as well, and there's just like no one there, didn't make any sense. You just get bored. He's got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. I like it, like the more Chris is saying about it the more I'm like, oh yeah, that thing happened and that thing happened but until I'm prompt, I'm like oh fuck, I don't remember any of it I feel like if you were like some sort of serial killer and you went into a doll, probably just call it a day You'd yeah. think but, uh, It's like, like how that doll in um, 
what we do in the shadows ended up just chilled out a bit. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I'm a doll. Yeah, you think you'd get, like, killed out, you know? He'd be like, oh, God, this is so tiring. make a lot of money from that, you know? Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Apparently I'm going to kill this child. Well, I'm going to become this child. Which is significantly stranger. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit, yeah. I do think that they um, improved upon the animatronics and stuff in this movie. I think yeah. the look of Chucky and just, like, how he moves... Uh, all of that, I think, looks so much better in this one. You can tell. I thought tell it was this move. film. We said it was worse. No. I swear, one of you said that it didn't look as good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I said during the movie. So I was drunk. I think it looks a lot better. I can't remember. Yeah, it might have been. You can tell that they've put some actual effort into making him look good. I don't know. I just. They have more of a budget. I feel like they probably have more of a budget. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, so. I, I say definitely. But more... actually, no. Oh, well, you know, yeah, that first one real. probably did a lot very well for it to get a sequel. Yeah, it was a huge yeah. hit. I want to put more money into the animatronics and all that. I appreciate that. Mm, I guess. As much as I wish I remembered it. <laughs> yeah, that's one big problem. I remember having... the knife hand. Yeah. The knife that's hand all I need sick. to remember. Like, uh, yeah. 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 like, no! Or the big way he's like, crawling up the stairs and he gets, like, gunked. So that's why he has to get his blade hand in the first place. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty gross. The first movie had a budget of... Um, actually, yeah. no, they had the exact same budget, about $13 million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. That's fair. Relatively low for what they are. Yeah. They go to more places in this one. Yeah, like, you would remember, assume this budget I feel budget like was I only more. remember like them being in the house for that first one. Here they go all over the place, all over the town. No, in the first one, they, the, Andy goes across Chicago, goes to that, that house of um, Charles Lee Ray's accomplice they blow okay. his house up oh yeah That's yeah i remember it, that now yeah yeah he goes on the train oh well um yeah it's just a bit more like i feel like this one was a bit more like forward in its momentum as much as i enjoyed the first one a bit more um uh i think they tried to do a bit more with this one um, yeah for me it didn't really work though. That's a lot sillier i think it kind of understands what it is it doesn't mm-hmm. try and take itself seriously which i think the first one does kind of try and do maybe that might make it funnier, though. Yeah, definitely. I think it was like a, 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 it was like a point where it was just like, okay, like that first one finished, we went straight into the second one. And as soon as I like didn't like that first one all that much, I was like, the rest of this is just going to be like awful, isn't it? The rest of this is going to be trash. And it's... And you doesn't remember the second of, one, sort of so... Is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like this movie at all. Um, and, uh, I mean, I don't really remember. There are parts I like. It's just that, you know, on a fucking list would I put it up there probably not or would I watch it again or would I show it to anyone not really I don't understand mm. like the need to make more you know yeah I get it but it's like oh, okay but whatever like, who cares there are fucking 10 of these movies there are 10 of Halloween movies there are 10 of Friday the 13th movies yeah it's all the same bullshit it's, it's all the same at, at a point you just like they're indistinguishable from one another. <laughs> it's like I don't remember this one. I don't remember the third one. I only remember the fourth one because we did it on a whim, and then like something happened in it. You know, we're actually like, oh okay, something actually happened in that. Yeah. But the rest of these, I just don't care. I don't really, and I don't want to watch the others either. I don't want to watch that remake that they did. That was actually all right. Yeah, it was okay. Honest. I don't remember a lot. They of do it. a lot different with it. It's not mm-hmm. just the same thing. Is but... it you and McGregor who played it? No, it's Mark Hamill. Mark. Ha- Ewan McGregor was in the other one that they the made Doctor Sleepy about film. movies that used to be popular. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should yeah. we go on to the next one? Yeah. yeah, what should we rate this one out of? Uh... Um, microchips. Okay. Microchips, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I think up until re-watching it um, this time, I actually preferred it to the first movie. Um, watching it back to back, I definitely think this is... It's not a great movie. I'm not even sure I'd say it's a good movie, but yeah. I always have a lot oh, of fun I really with like it. these movies, but I do. they're not very he good. Loves they're, it. they're not even good. Yeah, just because okay. I enjoy them doesn't mean I think they're good. Yeah, it does. Uh, I can love something, but admit that it's not good. Um, but yeah, I still enjoy this a lot. It's very stupid, very silly, but it's fun, I think. So I give it um, six microchips out of ten. Yeah... Whatever. Four microchips out of ten. Six microchips out of ten. Great. 
sorry, I, I, I uh, and then had a brain fart to think, wait a minute, it's gone silent, and I remember that's because it's my turn to talk about quite possibly the best of the four. So what? Yeah, the the best of the the four of them. What the third one? Yeah, why not? What the fuck are you talking about? It's it's because it won't it won't it won't load. What's it about? Sorry, it's finally loaded. Look at the picture that's come up on the top. It's terrifying. Sexy. So, Child's Play 3. And this one is directed by <laughs> Jack Bender. Sorry, that's great. And um, it's... What's it even really about, really? Um, Andy. Eight years have passed since the second film, and he gets resurrected again and goes to find Andy, who's in the military, so he can finally take his body, and that is literally the premise. I zoned out, man. I zoned out. Yeah. Was out of there. I don't remember a single thing about this movie. This... Except that they go to a military camp and Chucky's like, wouldn't it be cool if instead of firing paintballs at each other, they fire live ammunition and they shoot each other uh, some one or twice. I, I hated this. Yeah, this, this was so sucked. boring I've and never liked this so one. painful. And on, the scariest part of this film is that... <laughs> Tell me that is not fucking terrifying. Look at him. He's like... Ooh. Darcy's referencing a hideous little picture she's found. Oh, do you know yeah. what? I'm going to send it to Chris so he can pop it on the uh, on one of the video versions. They do I want little, everyone to see this. A little <laughs> chant when he wants to go into a body. And he's like, are they doing it? Time, doesn't it? And sometimes it's in you know, Latin. <laughs> this, this time it's in French. Oh, yeah, it I is. I don't know why it's different this time. I think voodoo is the kind of thing where you just do the one language, the voodoo language. Yeah, you'd think if they were going to do it in the first one, they should Latin, have just kept the, it the same. The true right? voodoo language of Latin. Mm. Um, I don't know why it's in French, or it just starts talking in French. I don't know. I've Does that is make it... the possession powerfuller? Yeah, like it's three movies so. down the line. Have you seen the French? Nothing's explained either. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just, like yeah. there's no essence for that. What would have happened if we'd have watched this in like French dub? We would have been... would have been in English. Yeah. No, we would have been yeah. sparked out and become dull We would have things. learned more French, and that would have been a more interesting experience, I suppose. It would have been yeah, more true. educational, I guess. Although... Like the part where Chucky he pulls a pin out of a grenade, and he's like, I'm going to blow this place up! Don't test me! And, and he holds moves. the grenade for about, I don't know, five minutes <laughs> in his hand, and it doesn't explode. And Max was like, this is not how grenades work. <laughs> I don't know a lot about how grenades work, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure when you pull the pin out, it's supposed to explode. Yes, but I saw you only get like 10 a seconds before of it seconds, goes off, yeah. You know, you gotta toss that bitch. But I do like the fact that he uh, he set his sights on that new guy, that Tyler kid, and he's like, hey, Andy, I'm gonna be a bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you remember that, mate? What, Max? Tyler? Tyler, the, the little kid. Yeah. Sorry, you said I like that he set his sights on Tyler and then said Andy. Oh, so he goes to Andy, I'm going to be a bro. Oh, yeah. Tyler. And yeah. We, we laughed at that kid. because it was stupid. It was yeah. ridiculous. I don't really understand why he's decided suddenly he can transfer his soul into this body. He did say who he was to him. Though. Yeah, but I know what you mean. The logic <laughs> is if it's Andy, it's got to be Andy, right? But like, <laughs> I get, yeah, maybe it's because he died, but... He died in the first movie. Why did he decide to go back to Andy in the second one if he could go into a different anyone's body. soul? Yeah. Because they hadn't point. thought about it like, yet. Surely you could, he could have gone into anyone's soul. He literally kills like an exec at a toy company at the beginning of the second one. He surely he could have gone body. into his soul easily enough. You mean his body? Yeah, that's what I meant. Because they hadn't thought about it that deeply. Yeah, they obviously only got to the third one and went, oh, if we bring him back, yeah. we can rewrite the, like, bump start the, the logic again, and therefore he tells Tyler that his name is Charles Chucky Ray Lee Johnson or whatever, and he's like, I can kill you now. Well, not kill you, I can possess you now. I because, just find it weird because it? it's like, it does seem quite <laughs> inconsistent with the the logic of the franchise, and that would make sense if they had a completely different like Chris, writing are you really team and director. talking about the logic of the franchise? I mean, it has, it does, obviously it's not something that could happen in real life, but it has its own set of rules, I think, and it just kind of like, they ignores them. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty. But I like, don't know. I feel like it's pretty. Goofy, yeah, while like, saying um, it's uh, that would make sense if it was a completely different writing team and everything, but it's the mm-hmm. same writer who does all of these movies, so it doesn't really make any sense to me. Maybe they just decided, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you just gave up. <laughs> That's annoying. There's I like one magic systems of, that just like stay consistent. Yeah, this film does kind of feel like everyone just kind of gave up. Yeah, it, like even the second one, it definitely didn't need to exist, but it felt like some passion and care was put into it, even if it doesn't completely um, work. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't really feel like anyone cared about it. It does really feel just like it exists because they needed to make another one. Mm. Yeah, there's no Halo esque knife hand in this one. No. The other thing I don't understand is why did it have to be made? It is barely a Chucky movie. Money. Barely. It is barely a Chucky movie. Yeah, he's like not even in it. Yeah. There's like a swathe of time that goes <clears> by. <throat> and I was like, I forgot we were watching a Chucky so movie. So did I. I was literally, it was when. He um, hasn't been in it for ages. Literally, it was like, I swear he wasn't in it for like a good 40 minutes. We're just and watching I was like, yeah. what is essentially a shit version of. Full metal jacket, but nothing happens. Yeah. And it's like a teen drama about Andy. Yeah. Who is not really even a character. Yeah, he's especially at this point. He barely does anything in this film. He doesn't do anything in this movie. It's just so strange. Like how do you have a a Chucky movie without Chucky? Barely any Andy. Because he was in the military. He was going he was planning on what he was going to do. When the time came to it, it just it just didn't need to be a movie. I just don't understand how this how how this held up, how this how this came together. It's still an eighteen though, but there's like no yeah. gore, there's no violence really. Not to, uh, there's more a guy the who gets it, crushed inside a trash <laughs> compactor, but they don't yeah. really show it. So it's like, what's the point? No. Why do you even do that? Why is it an eighteen if you don't even show the guy getting crushed in the, the trash compactor? Yeah, I just think it all came from the bottom end of the film. Where that kid gets, dude. The thing is, he gets blown up by the grenade, right? And this, this is what got me, right? I, su- I mean, obviously, I'm not a grenade expert. I'm not a bombs expert. I don't know anything, right? What? But if you was to land on a bomb, right? Would you not like be blown apart? This guy was just like, he was just dead. Nothing yeah, happened to him. Of steel. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I just, I just of thought it was weird. <laughs> That could have been a really cool way to end the film, but they just went, we'll just, we'll just make him bloody. Okay, fine. I don't even remember that. That's exactly it. It was so forgettable. I remember <laughs> somebody like flies into a fan at the end or something. Yeah, they, Chucky. Like, chuck Chucky into a fan. It gets torn oh, yeah. asunder. Shredded yeah. up. Mm. The film ends up uh, like a funfair carnival thing for some reason. Do you know what that ending was well oh, yeah. weird. Like, do you remember it? It just, it just, it, um, but it was a bit like the second one. Like, Andy goes, uh, "Where's home?" or something, and Kyle or whatever goes, "Oh, I don't know." And then you just see the credits roll up. Like, I thought that was such a weird way of ending yeah. the film. Like they were still talking, and the and the credits were rolling yeah, they're up. Still walking away as the credits. Yeah. Uh, and they like, did that on top with this film. They just panned out to a fun fair, and it just had credits right. It was weird. It, I don't, don't know it. why the film goes to a fun fair. Like the whole thing is set at this military school. It's almost like they were like, "There's nothing cool you can do in a third act of a military school. Let's just carnival." Well, there isn't really. No. no. Did it come out of nowhere, or did I like miss the prompt where they actually went to a fun fair? I don't remember them being a one. It does come out of nowhere. Well, they oh, can walk through the forest, up. right? They got like a yeah, training yeah. program <laughs> where they go through the forest and shoot paintballs at each other. And I guess yeah. at the end of the forest, there was a fun fair. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Hey, if you do like... this program correctly, you get to go on the t- slide. Right, yay! I want to go on the slide. This sucks. It's... Don't remember it. Don't like it. Boy's talking about it. Let's do another one. Do you know what? I kind of agree. We heard the um the famous story about how this um movie was apparently cited as the inspiration for two murders in the UK. No, there's a lot of controversy kind of around it because um the murder of <laughs> Suzanne Capper and James Bolger was apparently caused by this movie. At least uh, that's what, what there was. They mi- tried this... to say it in court what because what happened in this movie? The people who caused the murders um. Had supposedly watched the movie before Wait, wasn't doing that it. James um, kid the one that 
was on the train tracks or whatever. Yeah, it was yeah. like done by two like twelve two, year old two, boys. Yeah. I don't understand how that has any relevance to that. And film. apparently they didn't even watch it. They they just happened to have like a tape of it in their possession. But wow. like there was like this huge controversy and drama around the movie and around horror movies just generally. Um <laughs> after it came out and after these murders happened, because a lot of people were saying, Oh, horror movies lead to violence and stuff like that. They don't really. There's always some bullshit about that kind of thing. It's, it's like, like video like, games oh, as video well. Video games lead to violence. Yeah. Horror movies lead to violence. Uh, you know, white men lead to violence. Like, it's just. <laughs> white men lead like, to violence. What do you want? Like, what yeah. do you want? Like, to horror movies to <laughs> stop being made? This is bullshit. It's weird. Kids, like... People who do these kinds of things are insane and psychopaths or like just like horrible fucking the worst of the worst. Doesn't matter if they've seen Child's Play 3. That doesn't matter at all. Yeah, and yeah. It's they're always like... gonna do it. Yeah, it doesn't Otherwise change they get anything. their inspiration from fucking, I don't know, the My Little Pony movie. It doesn't <laughs> matter anything to tip them over the edge. It's not even movies that tip them over the edge. No, it's just there's some bullshit that happens in their head where they think yeah. they can do anything. It's weird this no, like true. This is the movie as well that was like being used. Has as, like, like no relevance no. to anything. Like, I literally this is... stood up in court and went, um, excuse me. That movie's shit. <laughs> I've been like, have you actually seen this movie? You pretty, don't know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure um, <laughs> both of the like groups of people who caused the murders had also watched like Nightmare on Elm Street movies and stuff, yeah. but they weren't used as like a thing to put like, on all the papers. I don't think that's also kind of irrelevant. They're all irrelevant. The They're all Elm Street movies. Whereas it was like Child's Play 3. It was like all over the papers. It was like the movie that caused these murders and shit is just kind of like yeah, but that's just like people say, pointing that's, fingers oh, at it. That that really winds me up. Like it doesn't cause something. It like it it doesn't do anything. A movie doesn't cause yeah. anything. A game doesn't cause well, anything. Music doesn't cause anything. You just have to be in quite a low place for it to affect you, I suppose. In yeah, the I first guess. Place. I guess you tip yeah. over the edge. I don't know. I'm not one of those people. No, but I, I mean, like, I guess if you're a 12 year old but, kid, you, know, you, you could, could be say that persuaded. About I suppose. Literally really anything. It doesn't yeah. really matter about what type of movie it was or what specific movie it was. People are gonna find. That's what I mean. You'll find anything to blame it on. Yeah. From fucking anything, if they're fucked up enough. Yeah. It's it's all it's it's just all it's easy to rag on like horror movies because. They've already got that reputation of being dark, or you know, what I mean, like they mm. they got a reputation, so people yeah. just blame it on that. It's easy. More recently, like the argument was that <laughs> violent video games cause it, because there was like loads of examples of like people like killing their parents because they took away their Xbox or something, and they'd been playing nothing but like Halo. And yeah, did we watch a? There's a that that chapter video about the guy who killed um like his next door neighbor or something and he was like one of those like basement people that just played nothing but video games and stuff and they blamed it on that even yeah. though because he thought he was in part of like a uh simulation or something but like i said a game doesn't do that to you that is you consciously not going outside and believing that you are part of a game I, I guess. just find it weird that people have this like strong agenda against these things that they try and point the blame at that yeah why can't we just blame the it sounds awful to say but i guess why can't we just blame the person for doing the thing in the first place blame the parents but it might not be the parents blame them anyway <laughs> yeah but then you would have parents not blaming themselves because They'd be like, oh, it's not my responsibility. I did nothing but showed them Forrest Gump and they went mad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was an interesting thing to bring up. Should we get to ratings? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, let's rate it out of uh, grenades because who gives a shit? Can't do it out of that, Darcy. Somebody might get the wrong idea and murder someone. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, this film sucks. It's boring. It is boring. Um, there's a couple of cool kills, I guess, but like trash compactor ones, like the coolest one in the and film. And you don't I even think. see you all don't of even it. See it. So, boo. Um, two grenades out of ten. <laughs> two grenades out of ten. <coughs> one grenade out of ten. <coughs> cool. <coughs> we watched the fourth one. What was it? Yeah. To so the next one. <laughs> 
from 1998. Um, seven year gap in between Charles Play Free and this one, Bride of Chucky. I think they no, needed they've, the gap they've to be honest. They've gone for something crazy. And yeah. Wacky. Directed by Ronnie Yu. Um, in this Why film. You? Ronnie, I didn't do it. Ronnie Yu. <laughs> Why oh, you? Why <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, in this film, um, <laughs> Chucky's um, ex partner, Tiffany, um, finds the doll, sews it back together, and brings it back to life using the voodoo powers. Um, when she finds out that Chucky never plans to propose to her as she believed him to, she starts teasing him, which leads Chucky to murdering her and putting her in the body of a bridal gown doll. Um, then, because the, the only way they can get into a human soul for some reason is using this um, this like amulet thing that surrounds Chucky's corpse's neck. They basically <laughs> get these two people to take him across country to take this amulet so they can get into human body. They gotta go to Mexico for some reason. They now need an amulet, which they never needed in the other movies. Doesn't matter. Once again, logic rewritten. You know who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, this one's the best one. This is, is the, the best, best one. one. Yeah. This one's Stupid, really fun. It's entertaining. Yeah. Chucky smokes weed. Is everything you want? Oh, but yeah, this is the best one. Just to the wall, one. Like, whatever. Yeah, this is yeah. where they complete. They just threw the rule book out and went, yeah. we're going to have fun with this. And I, I appreciate they have that sex way more. in this movie. The two <laughs> dolls have sex. It's like, are you attracted to a doll? Oh, yeah, that was weird. the body of a doll, but like, that's because like, that has to happen like because of the voodoo. But you're not seriously attracted to a doll. And how do you feel any sensation through. The body of a doll is it's you know, pretty sure it's just smooth down there, but now he's like, also, I have a cock. Uh, why would they create a children's doll with a cock? <laughs> yeah, there, there were so many questions I had there because, especially in the second one where they go through the cave about he is smooth, so where did he's he get smooth, his dick? God damn it! Maybe that's and something does she that just, have a vagina in Maybe it's something be. that happens as they become more human, they oh, grow oh. genitalia. Oh, I guess so, because a doll wasn't made with blood, but then they have blood. Oh, maybe. So what, what, but they, they just grow, grow a dick? Genitalia. Yeah. yeah, maybe. No. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's... I think it's much funnier if they just bump up against each other, but they act like they they're enjoying like the puppets it. puppets yeah. do. Yeah, it like, like a anomaly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where they just go and... Blink, 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 blink. Yeah, this is definitely the one where I think Don Mancini was just like, eh, fuck it, let's just go crazy and have a good time. It's, I appreciate that. It's like a horror comedy. It is a straight-up comedy. It is dumb. Yeah. Never takes itself seriously. It knows what it is, just completely dumb. It's um, also very much a product of its time, like very, very late 90s so sort yet. of thing. Yeah, yeah it's mm. like... There's Rob Zombie music playing all throughout it. Visually, it looks very, very late 90s. <laughs> Living Dead Even like Girl, the humour, I feel like, is very late 90s sort of thing. Yeah. Love Rob Zombie songs. I just got to bracket that. <laughs> Love his music. Anytime he's in it. Damn. Yeah. And then I just went off and listened to Rob Zombie. And that, if this movie does anything, yeah, does that at least. Um, I liked it because um, you were singing Dragula while we were watching one of the other movies. Just every yeah. once in a while, you're just singing Dragula for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, I was singing it, yeah. I don't know why I was singing it. <laughs> yeah, you were. And then I was like, oh, he's got this obsession with Rob Zombie. And then out of nowhere, Chris was like, Darcy, you hear what's playing? And I was like, fuck it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. He's in it. Um, Max could predict the future. I predicted it in my... Mm. Drunk state. A state of waviness. I predicted Rob. <laughs> just like a, a road trip movie as well. You know, he's going across country. Yeah, stuff um, was just happening, you know. They like kill a guy, mm -hmm. there's stuff his body in a in the van. I'm surprised they didn't smell it sooner than they yeah, did. That one guy smelt it, yeah. but for some reason they didn't and didn't question it. No. Maybe they they're just smell? very smelly people. Yeah, and they can't smell. Maybe. They lost their smell in a smelly accident. Maybe they have COVID. Maybe. They were the originals. <laughs> well, if they're druggies, you can lose your sense of smell through that. No, they were cool. They were just guy. They were just, you know, 
lovers out on the town. They both, yeah, maybe they both just smell like actual shit. Maybe. It's the only thing that makes sense. I've never smelled a dead body, so I don't know how bad that would smell, but I assume it'd be pretty fucking awful. Probably rank. Mm. Decomposing and all that. Yeah. In the back of a van. Probably a hot van as well. What? What? How long? How long were they there for? I felt like I felt like it was only over like a course of a few hours, but it felt like forever. Yeah, yeah like they went like... on it for like weeks. <coughs> no, it's over yeah. like a day or two, I think. No, I can't make it to Mexico in a day. Was it Mexico? I don't know. No, they were going to Chicago. Oh right. How far would they fucking live? No, well, no, sorry, New Jersey. They were going to. Oh right. But when they say New Jersey, I thought New Mexico, and then I thought Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> What's I mean, in that, Mexico? Yeah. Mexicans. Mexican. <laughs> Woo! It felt like a, like a lot longer. I think it felt like a couple of weeks. Um, mm. um, I like. Oh, I do remember when they like go to that motel or something, and like they meet that other couple, and the couple's like, "You guys are cute," and they try to fuck them. They're fucking <laughs> weird, aren't they? <laughs> weird. Yeah, steal like, their wallets. Yeah, and Tiffany sees it. Yeah. And then she goes in their room while they're like about to have sex and she throws a glass bottle onto this glass mirror that's above the bed and shards of glass come flying down on them. That was sick actually. That, that was, was sick. sick. Yeah. So cool. It was like Final Destination or some yeah. bullshit. That was good. I like that. I like that the, the, the cleaner comes in. She like doesn't even care or she's like, like oh, notice. She's like, oh, just, uh, uh, she just sees like the blood on the floor. She's like, oh, what are they like? And then she sees their bodies. It's like, how did it take you that long? It didn't take you that long to do that. Would it not smell just a little bit with all the blood there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what blood smells like. I just, I just a bunch just, of blood smells yeah, I just like, I guess. assume nobody knows how to smell yeah. in this film. This film has people that can't smell. I think they go really all out with the kills in this one. I think all of them I are like really that. creative. Like you've got um, John Ritter, the guy who plays Catherine Heigl's dad, who like, they attach a load of nails onto this bit of a car and then they like pull it down or something so it, all these nails go flying into his face which was fun got that other yeah, guy yeah. who like isn't looking because he gets freaked out by Chucky and Tiffany and just walks in front of a truck that was funny <laughs> yeah it is fun it's a fun movie maybe I would this would probably be the only one that I would even consider watching again but even then I don't know if I care all that much I enough would. to watch it again I think this it's is funny. definitely a fun drunk yeah. movie oh definitely I think this is this is probably the one I've seen the most because mm-hmm. it's just like it's just a great time. It is, yeah. I can watch this without have having to watch all the other movies beforehand because it mm-hmm. does feel quite separated from it. It never like stops to try and explain what happened in the other movies. It doesn't really follow on from the other movies either, apart from the fact that Chucky's there. We have yeah. there's like nothing about Andy or anything. It's kind of it's very self contained. I think. Yeah, it's good for that good party movie. Um, yeah, well, he really needs like a basic understanding of who Chucky is, and that's it. Yeah, and that guy at the beginning who was wearing that like black leotard or whatever. And I thought like his tattoos were part of his <laughs> outfit, and then he took him off, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> he was weird. He was a weirdo. Um, yeah, pretty glad he died. <laughs> Has his lip ring taken out, which is like brutal. He gets yeah. ripped out. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I like that. <laughs> I like the Chucky just like kills his girlfriend. He's like, eh, fuck it. He swipes the radio into the bath and he does his voodoo spell and he's like, okay, into the doll. And that's just it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he only did it to piss her off. Like, yeah. that, is, that is like the thing Aha! that gets me. The pettiest couple yeah. ever. They really are, though. Then there's the bit like later on where she's like been horribly burnt and she's like walking over and she's like, Chucky, catch me. He just walks like out the way. So she just falls falls down. down. (laughs) He's such a bastard. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, man. I quite like them together, though. They're cute. A weird standoff at the end. (laughs) Oh, what? Where he like got that bit where he gets freaked out because he's like in his own Mm. grave or whatever and he's like, ah! (laughs) I mean, it would be pretty fucked up to like. Just be in your coffin next to your decomposed skeleton with right, like loads of but he's rats around. Also, it. a fucking plastic doll. Doesn't mean he doesn't have emotions, Darcy. Doesn't mean he doesn't feel things. I disagree. Okay. Oh. I think it's pretty crazy how Tiffany gives birth at the end. Holy shit, I forgot all about <laughs> that. Literally, like, just two seconds yeah, what the of. Fuck? She's just screaming, <laughs> and then you just see. 
That's how it ends. Oh, okay. I guess that can happen. <laughs> that was weird. How did it, the no no sign of pregnancy beforehand that all of a sudden, ka-chow, yeah. straight out of there. The ka The thing with this movie is it's just so batshit insane start to finish that you just don't question anything that happens in it, really. Yeah. Because nothing really makes sense. It's just like, it's just all insane. It's all insane in membrane. Yeah. Ratings? Yeah. Sure. What should we rate it out of? Rob Zombies. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, this is my favourite in the franchise. It's a lot of fun. Really just crazy, crazy movie. Um, goes all out in every single way, I think. I give it um, seven Rob Zombies out of ten. They're pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> kind of boring. But, you know, it's the most entertaining one that I've seen from this series. And I've seen four movies from this series. Um, I give it five Rob Zombies out of ten. It's only slightly above the first one. I would agree that it is better, but is that a good judgment of the films? Probably not. Um, I'm going to give it a six and a half Rob Zombies out of ten. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> So you guys aren't going to watch any of the other movies, um, but I thought I'd give like my little opinions on all the other movies. Go for well, it. Well, we, we saw the dead meat version of Cedar, Cedar Chucky. Chucky. Yeah, Cedar <laughs> Chucky's the next one. The rest of them are directed by Don Mancini, the guy who wrote them all, um, mm -hmm. not including the remake. Um, I don't know who directed that. But Cedar Chucky from 2004 is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he said... Um, it's just straight up comedy. Um, it's not really a horror movie at all. It's not funny at all. It's really, really cringy. Just the whole thing. Uh, obviously, it's all about their child who can't decide whether they want to be a girl or a boy. Um, they're kind of like constantly switching between their genders. Where they got Glenn, who's like this really like quiet shy person who doesn't want to be a serial killer and then you've got glenda who's insane and psychotic um it's like trying to be like really self-aware and meta but yeah it just does not work at all it's really awful nice would not recommend it at all okay um then there was like nine year gap between that and the next one curse of chucky um in 2013 it's like <sighs> It's pretty good. It goes for definitely more of a horror sort of thing. It's very, very serious. Doesn't really have any comedic <laughs> moments at all. It just kind of intentionally tries to take the franchise back to its horror roots. Um, Chucky doesn't really speak at all until like the last 15, 20 minutes. Hmm. And I think it's actually a lot better before Chucky speaks. As soon as he starts like speaking and they're like trying to tie it into the first movie and tr like they're trying to add to like the lore of the franchise, it just kind of loses me a little bit. Um, That's what I've been saying. There's, Don't make him speak. Yeah, but I think it's like a like a fun little horror movie. Mm. Nothing amazing, but kind of enjoyable. Cool. Um, 2017's Cult of Chucky, I don't remember at all. Cool. Um, yeah, they like try and go heavy on like the world building, and they bring back Andy from the original as like a main character, and you got um, um, Tiffany comes back as well because she wasn't in Curse of Chucky. Um, yeah, I don't really remember it at all. I don't. Mm. I remember thinking it was okay, but quite boring. Um, so maybe I have to rewatch it at some point. But I remember it just kind of being whatever. Um, yeah, and then you got the remake, which Darcy has actually seen. Mm -hmm. We saw it in the cinema when it came out. Um, it's pretty good. It's got Aubrey Plaza in it, who yeah. is really good in the movie. I like um, it. Mark Hamill plays this new version of Chucky. Um, kind of plays it as like, like this really soft speaking like toy. The whole thing is like Chucky, instead of being like a serial killer doll, he's just like a robotic like smart device like a smart doll kind of thing like ai kind of yeah he's like connected to all of their technology and stuff and this whole like meta self-aware thing about technology is kind of like a satire almost on how 
how reliant we are on like smart technology and how it like controls everything in our house and we're getting to the point now where soon like we can't be without it um so yeah it's quite yeah, soon quite fun in that term in terms of that sort of thing mm-hmm. um surprisingly all right um it's one of the better remakes i think mm-hmm. but yeah if you don't like slasher movies i wouldn't recommend it because oh, it's okay it's nothing amazing but yeah. it's fun well, maybe I will check it out. You don't know. Yeah, and the Chucky TV series I've not watched yet, so I can't talk about that. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, apparently <laughs> it's good, but I've not seen it yet. Nice. That's that. Child's Play 1 through 4, and a little more. That's the marathon for this week. What a week it was. Next episode is episode 99. Ooh, we're going to do... um. 99 and 99.5 this month, and then next month, as soon as next month no, starts... I don't think we're going to do 99.5 anymore, because we don't have time to do it anymore. We're going to do ni- episode 99, yeah. and then we're going to do episode 100. So yeah, Watch we're taking next week off. We're taking next week off, apparently, um, to my immediate knowledge. We discussed this already. I forgot completely all about it, my friend. So we're going to spin a wheel and tell us what we're going to watch for the week after next, episode 99. It's a horror one again. What's what's going to spook us this time? Nice. Uh, the Evil Dead movies. We're going to watch <coughs> The Evil Dead movies. What are those? Um, so you've got Evil Dead. Uh, actually, no, it's called The Evil Dead, the first one. Yeah. Got Evil Dead 2, Army yeah. of Darkness. Nice. And we could do the remake if we wanted to as well. Ooh. Remakes actually all right, so. We'll see. Maybe a four movie marathon next week. Aren't you spoiled? Watch out for the Evil Dead quadrilogy next time, the week after next. Social media. We are YouTube, the Sunday Movie Marathon. Instagram, at Sunday Movie Pod. Twitter, at Sunday Movie Pod. Facebook, at Sunday Movie Marathon. Letterboxd, at Sunday MM, capital S, capital M, M. Remember to like, subscribe, and rate the podcast five stars. Any last words? No. Have a spooky (laughs) one. (laughs) Well, John, it's been fun, but I gotta go. I have a date with a six-year-old boy.